Thank you for visiting my channel. Let's talk on view child and view children today. In the last video, we studied one of the property decorator topic like at the rate input and at the rate output. I would recommend you to watch that video. I have explained the input and output concept in a simple terms with the help of practical example. In this video, is a this video is a continuation of at the rate output decorator. It means if you want to share data from child component to parent component, then we have to use either out output decorator or view child decorator. So we have already seen the output decorator approach, and today we are going to see the view child uh, decorator approach. So let's talk on uh, JavaScript for few few seconds. Mm, with with this example, we can understand view child concept. So, uh, this is a plain JavaScript. In plain JavaScript, we use it to write document dot get element by ID uh, to get the reference of a HTML element, and with the help of DOM method, we can man manipulate it. Similarly, in Angular, if you have a similar kind of requirement in your uh, Angular that you you want to get the reference of your element from a template file into the component class, so uh, in that case, uh, view child and view children comes into the picture. So now, what is view child and view children? The definition of view child is it is the property decorator that is used to get a reference to the child component or an element with a parent component. It allows the parent component to access and interact with the properties, methods, and event of the child component or element. If you want to get reference of only first matching element, then there we, we can use view child. And when we have to use view children, view children name suggests view children, it means it can point to the multiple element. So here, if you want to return the list of element from the template into the component, then you can use view children instead of view child. In simple words, View children is very similar to view child, only difference is it returns the list instead of single element. Okay, so now next is uh, what is the use of view child decorator and where, where, where we use view child decorator exactly. We can use view child decorator in two ways. First is if you want to access the data or uh, of child component inside the parent component, then we can use view child decorator. And the second is, if you want to get access of a template element in the same component class, that we can use view child as well as view children decorate. Okay. So next is ng after view init. So why we need ng after view init in view children and uh, view, view child? In order to execute view child code properly, we need to use ng after view init lifecycle hook. I have already uploaded the video on lifecycle hooks. You can find the use of all lifecycle hooks in one video. So kindly check out that video too. So now what is ng after view init lifecycle hook? ng after view init lifecycle hook get executed once the total web page loads on the browser. So if you want to show any data through view child, we have to add it inside ng after view init method instead of constructor because constructor is called once the class is created and ng after view init is called once the page is completely loaded on a browser. If you are working with a view child and you want to access the methods and properties of another component inside the current component, then the another component has to be loaded on a web page first. Then only we have to access that data in the current component. That is the reason we need to execute view child code inside ng after view init lifecycle hook. Hope you understand the concept of view child and ng after view init. Now, uh, I am done with the theory part of uh, view child and view children. Now, let's see how view child and view children works practically. Thank you. So, let's see how at the rate uh, view child and view children works practically. So I'm going to continue uh, with the at the rate input and at the rate output code because I have already created a parent and child component in that code. So that is why I'm going to continue inside that only. Okay. So, um, so below that, I'm going to write the code for view child. Okay. Uh, or edit the code. If needed, we can edit the code for view child. 
for that first we will go with the first approach that is if you want to uh, ac uh, get the access of template uh, template file inside the component class then how we can use view child decorator okay so now i want access of this first uh, heading element inside the uh, component inside the component class then how i can get that access so for that i'll write the code view child code um, here so for that we need to import the view child view child decorator and make sure it, it has to be imported from angular core if it is not auto import then you have to import it manually okay so inside we need to provide the id which which element you are going to uh, on which element you are going to do changes so here for that we need to add the uh, template reference variable like id here with hashtag i'm going to give head is the id for this element this h1 element and and that the same id we need to provide inside a uh, view child and the property name is heading that you can give as per your convenience and it is this uh, this the heading is the type of element ref because we are we are accessing the uh, element of uh, accessing the element of template variable that is why the type is element ref okay so now we are getting the access of this heading uh, heading element inside heading variable okay so after that if i want to console it uh, first I, I want to add it inside the constructor i want to i want to log the heading and i want to see okay see inside heading in parent line number 13 we are getting undefined that is why we need to write the view child code inside ng after view in it life cycle hook so in order to use that life cycle hook we need to implement after view in it life cycle and we need to import it from angular code okay now i am going to create ng after view in it method and inside that i am going to console same thing now you can see in line number 17 we are getting element ref because view child is the type of element ref and inside element ref it is a native element now with the help of these methods we can access that element so simply we will go with uh, style as well as the uh, inner html okay so as of now i'll i'll close this and i'm going to uh, i want to change that heading from um, component class okay so for that what i need to do heading dot native element dot style dot color i want to change the color h to pink okay if i save then you can see the heading of this parent color is change is getting changed so i want to make it green so that it is visible yes similarly i can do uh, i can apply one more property like heading dot native element dot in inner html equals to i want to change the content uh what content okay i'll i'll add this is view child parent component okay and if i save you can see we can change the content of uh, we can change the heading of parent component from the component uh, component dot ts class instead of that uh, html html file okay so now uh, what i wanted to tell you here if i give the same id to uh, to the another heading i want to make an another heading like uh, h2 h2 and inside that i'll add this is view child heading okay so and uh so see this is view child heading and i want to give the same id same id to that uh the, the second heading as well so now you can see this view child uh, this view child head heading changes is apply on only first matching element First matching element is this. If I cut it and paste after this H two, 
then it will apply on H2, not on H1. You can see this one. This is so I'll just do control Z and now we can see how view child uh, view children works. So here instead of view child, I'll I'll uh, edit it with view children. Uh, en children view children okay and in order to use view children we need to use query list instead of element ref query list of type we need to provide uh, as of now i'll uh, provide any okay so here uh, just i want to comment this because now and now you can see heading i wanted to show you in a console You can see the query list line number 17 we can access the query list now so here you can see the property of the the query list is first last result etc so now i wanted to show you if i want to access both if i want to do changes with both the elements then what we need to do we need to write like heading heading dot first dot or else uh, what i'll do i'll just x and i'll just Mm, and comment this and I'll just write dot first and here dot last. Now you can see first is first is what we did for first uh, heading we change the green color and for second heading we change the title. This is view child parent component and in a component the child title is different. This uh, H2 heading is different, but we change it from the component. For safer side, what I am going to do uh, here, I'll I'll do again green, and you can oh, oh sorry, uh, this is not a HTML, this is same. Now you can see both is green, okay. First and last, bo bo both the element is green. So this is the example of view child as well as view children to access the template element inside the same component class now the second approach is how to access the properties and methods from child component to parent component so so for that i am going to create one property and uh, method inside child component and then we are uh, we try to access that inside parent okay so i'm going to write um, first property property name is child property yeah child property type string equals to i'm going to add some message please subscribe to my channel okay and next, I'm going to add the method. Method name should be what is my channel name? Okay, learning. Okay, so inside that, return, return. I'm going to return one message again. Please like and share my videos with your friends. With your okay this is so i have created one method and one property inside the child component and that uh, property and method i want to access inside parent component then for that inside parent component again i need to write view child code at the rate view child inside uh, round bracket i have to pass the component name child component name is child component and then the property name is um, what property name here child child data child data of type type of as of now i'll, I'll give any okay so now we are getting uh, the child data child component data inside child data variable now in order to ex in order to execute this child data we need to write a code inside ng after we in it okay so here I'm going to write child data dot what I want. I want the property name is child property. 
child property and I want to store it inside one variable. For that, I need to create one variable. Name is data from child or I will give property property from child oh, sorry of type n and inside that this property local property I am going to assign the data oh, this yeah. I am going to assign the property name of child component to property of parent component and with the help of this property we can display uh, inside parent component so here I am going to display Mm, with tag h3 inside interpolation okay once i save this you can see this message please subscribe to my channel so this message is currently available in in this uh, child child component but we can see it inside the parent component now same we can access the method of child component inside parent component for that i'm going to create the another uh, property with name method method from child and I am going to add the method inside this local um, variable. Method from child equals to child data dot method name is FED learning. And it is method that is why the round bracket is needed. So in order to display this method, we need to add this property inside uh, our template HTML file. So I am going to use same H3 tag and inside string interpolation, we need to add that property like method from child. So once once I save this file, you can see below below this subscribe my channel. You can see the next message is coming. Sorry, the next message is coming from uh, method. Please please like and share my videos with your friends. So this is the second approach we have seen of view child uh, view child decorator. So hope you understand view child as well as view children concept with practical as well as theory. So that's it, guys.